here's our LS3. We got these nice, pretty coil packs installed on the valve covers. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be swapping them bad boys out. These coils actually came out the junkyard somewhere, y'all. Now, I know what you're saying. Why am I replacing those high-performance coils with the junkyard coils? It's actually a very, very significant performance reason that I'm doing it. A lot of people don't know that information. That's golden. And I'm going to share that with you today. You've been thinking about a LS swap. I'm talking to you. You working on an LS swap. I'm talking to you too. I know how important it is to make sure your LS swap is running the best it can and you at the top of your game. And I know how important it is to make sure you ain't wasting time troubleshooting the LS engine misfire that could have been avoided. Today, YouTube, I'm going to show you exactly how to make that happen with running the top number one coil packs for your LS swap. Let's get it. What it do, what it do, YouTube, YouTube. Behind us, we got the convertible LS3 swap. 72 Impala. Let me flip the camera around so I can show you what we're going to be doing. And here's our LS3. As y'all can see, um, we got these nice, pretty coil packs installed on the valve covers. Actually, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be swapping them bad boys out. Uh, we got these right here that we're going to be using. Uh, these coils actually came out the junkyard somewhere, y'all. Uh, these are junkyard coils. And these coils are from uh, 99 to 2006 uh, LS engine. I think these came off a truck motor. I'm going to be cleaning them up, cleaning these guys up. We're going to be putting them on, on here. Now, it's a reason why we swapping those high-performance coils out for these junkyard coils. And once I get y'all set up on my workstation, uh, I'm going to explain to you why. It's actually a, a very, very significant performance reason that we're swapping these coils out. So let me get y'all set up real quick. All right, you two, uh, we all set up. Uh, back here on the workstation and just real quick y'all uh, Once again, we got these coil pack these junkyard coil packs from a 99 to 2006 uh, Truck uh, either 5.3 4.8. It don't matter man. All the coils are interchangeable uh, I also got just some water. I got some purple power right here and got a toothbrush and a rag to dry it off uh, I don't want to put too much water on these coils and, you know, because these are electrical components. But uh, back to what I was saying before we got to the workstation, uh, we're swapping out the high performance coils with these junkyard coils. And the reason that we're going to swap out these high performance, high voltage coils for the junkyard coils is because this is the second set of coils that I put on here, man. Uh, the first set that I had on this LS3, it started to misfire and it wasn't driving right. That was the whole reason that I created the troubleshooting uh, LS engine misfire video series. And I encourage you, if you have not checked that out, how to troubleshoot a LS engine misfire, Click on that link in the top right corner and make sure y'all check that out. But uh, what I've discovered, uh, not just speaking in general, but I'm speaking from experience, y'all, considering I, I put a couple sets of coils on here. And now uh, I've done my research and we finally uh, identified the best set of coils to go on an LS engine or a LS swap or whatever you want, a, 
a LS engine or a LS swap. A lot of people, they don't know this, but if you're doing a LS swap or if you got a LS engine and you're running it in an alternate vehicle, the absolute best set of coils that you can go with is a pair of OEM coils. Yeah, I said, let me say that one more time. The absolute best set of coils that you can go with for your LS swap on your LS engine is a pair of OEM coils. Those OEM coils made by GM or AC Delco gonna run you about $800, almost $800 for a brand new set of OEM coils. And what we've discovered and what I've learned about these OEM coils is they don't fail, y'all. They don't fail. They perform consistently. And nine times out of 10, they do not fail. Now, the set of coils that I got on the 72 LS Swap Impala are uh, just a set of high-performance coils. I think I paid 100 and. 50, 160 bucks for a whole set of eight coils. Well, with these OEM coils, you're going to pay about $100 per coil, man, or close to it for OEM LS engine coil. And so that's why we swapping them out, man. And I want y'all to take note of that, man. A, a lot of people don't know that information, and that's golden. That's key into having your LS swap perform the absolute best that it could perform, y'all, and stand at the top of your game. Because I know nobody don't want to be troubleshooting or misfire, uh, and I know you want your stuff to run good. So uh, I'm sharing this information with you. And actually, I got something else that I want to share with y'all, man, when it comes to these uh, calls and the LS swap misfire to prevent that, man. Uh, I'm going to share it with you a little bit later on in the video, man. But it'll save you hours and hours, days. In some situations, man, it's a, it'll save you months from troubleshooting. From troubleshooting a misfire uh, to where you can't never get your LS swap to run the way that it's supposed to run. It'll save you months. If you don't discover and find out this information, uh, and a lot of people don't know it, but I'm gonna share it with y'all a little bit later on in the video. So let's work on getting these cleaned up, and then I'm gonna share that with you uh, a little bit later on in the video. So make sure y'all stay right where you at and don't skip through the video, otherwise, you might miss it. And you might be one of them people that say, Oh, my LS swap ain't running right. It ain't ran right. I've been trying to get it running right for months and months. So y'all stay locked with me. These two look the best right here. This one and this one. And uh, I just use this to replace what I need to replace. And we'll go from there. So let me get, let me speed this video up. Uh, I don't want to bore y'all with cleaning these coils. Uh, that way we can get directly back and install these bad boys on the 72 and then we can see how it performs. All right, let's speed up. pretty good uh, it actually looks pretty good y'all I don't know if I need to paint this or not man y'all do me a favor man and drop a comment down below and tell me what you think man if you think I should paint these or not man I think they actually look pretty good uh, YouTube here's the uh, here's the all the old uh, wiring harnesses that I took off of the 
uh, valve covers in the coil, uh, coil bracket. And I also got these valve covers right here for sale, man. Uh, if you want them, hey, hit me up on Instagram or just drop a comment. I know y'all probably see that right there. That's our uh, hood and our fender for the 75 convertible Caprice. Let me show y'all real quick. This is the 75 convertible Caprice. Uh, we're going to be building that fender. I got to finish taking that fender right there off and uh, put that other fender on and that hood on and put the bumper on this guy right here. This runs. We're going to be doing that in an upcoming video. But for now, uh, I want to show y'all the coils and the brackets that I got all cleaned up, man. They actually look pretty good. Y'all tell me, uh, y'all drop me a comment and uh, let me know what you think. Think if I should paint them or not. Um, I can always pull them back off and paint the brackets and tape everything off and paint them. But here we are right here. We just got to get these guys installed. The second tip that I want to share with y'all, man, about these uh, coil harnesses and the coil packs that will prevent you uh, from spending hours and possibly even months of troubleshooting trying to figure out why your LS swap don't run right and you got a misfire. Uh, these harnesses right here, check these, these harnesses right here. I know y'all see these little labels on the harnesses. These little, uh, these little labels right here. What these are, these are coil extension harnesses. And what they do is they plug in right here into the main harness. Let me just show you on the old one real quick. Basically, these are coil extension harnesses right here. Uh, this, this is factory coil extension harness. So you can see pretty much where every uh, uh, coil harness and coil plug goes. You know what I'm saying? It'll line up with which coil it's supposed to plug into. I need y'all to be mindful and very careful, man, about which coil extension harness that you order whenever you're doing your LS swap because you can order these and they don't have any labels on them. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't got labels on them, you're not going to know which connector plugs into what cylinder. You know, mine are labeled on my car, but they sell these LS swap coil extension harnesses all day long that you can get from China uh, and other companies that make them and they don't have labels on them and all the wires are the same length. So it's, you don't know what wire goes where you don't know what coil wire plugs up to what coil. And if you swap that stuff up and get it mixed up, your LS swap ain't going to never run right. So, rule of thumb is, whenever you order your LS swap coil extension harnesses, because they usually don't come with the, the whole kit, you got to order them separately. But whenever you order them, make sure that yours are labeled like mine are. Let me show you one more time. Here go the labels on mine. This goes to either eight or one. You know what I'm saying? So right now it's on one. Um, this can go to either cylinder four or cylinder five. This one goes to cylinder two or cylinder seven. So you can actually use this extension harness on this side, or you can use that. Same uh, coil extension harness on this side. But they all labeled, y'all. And just keep that in mind. All the coil extension harnesses that you buy off of Amazon and eBay, they don't have no label. And you get your car running, but it'll never run right. 
and you will be trying to troubleshoot and trying to figure out why it's not working correctly for weeks, months. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's going to save you. But but man, it's hot out here, man. Super hot out here. You got to get these coil packs installed, man. These uh coil brackets with the harnesses installed. But what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to say that for the next video. So y'all make sure that y'all stay tuned in. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell. And that way we can see how this bad boy going to run right here. See what kind of performance gains and what kind of stability that we get. With Chevy Zarus, our goal is to help you do your LT swap or your LS swap as easy as you possibly can, as inexpensively as you possibly can, y'all. If you like learning this kind of stuff, y'all do me a favor and hit that subscribe button before you get out of here and turn on your notification bell. That way you see all the new videos when we post them. And just to let you know, we talk about things like this, man. Every single Wednesday on Go Live Wednesday, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we also have a live car show and tell. So if you've been working hard on a project and you want to show it off, hey, we'll be more than happy to have you for Go Live Wednesdays with Chevy Zara's family, y'all. YouTube, YouTube.